Hello everyone, my name is Intercellar Yeti and welcome guys back to Warface. Now, Warface has given us the new Benelli M2SP weapons box in the item shop today. And as you can know, as you can see, it is a new shotgun for the new season. And I did manage to get it only temporarily for two hours, but that is enough to try it out before spending a little bit more credits uh, to get it permanent. Now, you can look at down in my credits and I have 15 and a half thousand credits. It's okay. It's fine if I spend a bunch of credits trying to get it permanent. But comparing it to the Chiapa Triple Threat, as you can see, the Benelli is pretty good. 816 damage compared to 750. The range is only 5 instead of 6. That's fine. And the RPM is only 200 compared to 300. And as you can see, this is a shotgun. It looks pretty weird. It has 10 bullets though, which is pretty good. This is the standard optic. Let's see. Iron sights are pretty good too, but the default optic gives us a fast 1.3 zoom and greatly improves accuracy while aiming and then just, just a normal suppressor. As you can see, this is the fast reload, two at a time, and that was a pretty fast fire rate. Let's two at a time and one. Oh, that's pretty cool. And today, in today's video, we're going to go ahead and try the Benelli M2 SP in Team Deathmatch. And I'm going to give you my honest thoughts at the end. So if you're excited about that, stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, a new lobby, but on the same map. And we got full bars now. So this should hopefully be better. I'm hoping. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Also, I wanted to ask you guys a question. How much does it cost for for a tier skip in the battle pass? Because I have a bunch of credits. I have a bunch of... Oh, God. What? No, he was so weak. I have a bunch of credits to spend, as you guys saw. And I'm like, what if I buy the battle pass? skip all the tiers and then just get the 10,000 parts to mod the Chris Vector. What do you guys think of that plan? Is that a good idea or a bad idea? I'm not sure. You guys let me know in the comments below. Also, I, I, was, I think I mentioned this, but I haven't finished it. Um, there's going to be less videos uploading in the next few days weeks per perhaps as i want to slow my roll down um to avoid burnout and stuff like that also to come give me time to come up with video ideas and stuff like that at least you won't see a lot of warface videos as i'm trying to branch out in it and create a oh dude that would have been such a sick kill dang uh branch out with different games and stuff but also like not be depressed like it's, it's such a lame thing to say but to avoid burnout as much as possible so you might see less videos i do want to apologize in the in advance but no but that's that's might be a reason why also because i spent i want to spend more time editing my videos to be the best quality for you guys because i want to definitely be quality over quantity oh uh, yeah uh, quality over quantity so that's 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 what I want to do. So I apologize in advance if you guys are missing out on videos or not. But yeah. Oh my god, what is that? Why are there so many grenades? There's a Oh, that is so bullshit. That is the biggest bullshit. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. I've been enjoying a lot of Rogue Company. I've made like two videos in the past, like week, what? Um, but it, obviously they haven't been doing too well, views-wise and stuff like that. But of course, I'm just branching off to a different market of video games. That's why it's not doing that well. So, so hey. Oh, let's go. No, dude, every single time. I, the most I've gotten is triple kill. But there's always that last one guy that I'm about to finish and kill and they wouldn't make it. Dang it. But yeah. But of course, with Warface, for example, I've made multiple videos before I made that Battle Royale video, which basically launched my channel. Jesus, finally. Took forever. 
speed reload to the clutch. There's definitely people coming. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh well. I can't, I can't. I can. Holy crap, there's, do you see how many people there are? <laughs> oh my god, there's so many people. Crazy. But yeah, so, I mean, I'm gonna go go try to pump as many role company videos as I can. Oh, well, not as many, because again, quality over quantity. Um, but I, I definitely want to make role company videos. But yeah, that is, oh god, that was a bad idea. That is just basically what I'm going through. And like, yeah. I hope you guys understand. Hey, dude, this pistol is better than the shotgun. Again, this is unmodded though, so. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, come on. Yikes, bro. Dude, the reload animation of this gun it looks so sick. The, like, turning the shotgun upside down. I'm not gonna peek. Tiny the gun upside down like that and speed reloading. So cool. Anyone here? Oh, that's it. I'm in a bad spot. Oh, that's a guy? I thought that was my teammate. <laughs> I thought that was my teammate. What a buffoon I am. I can't wait to see how this gun would feel like modded. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. Holy crap, there's a bunch of people coming. At least I think. Oh, there's... What? 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 Hello? I do need armor. Oh, boy. What is happening? There's, there's definitely people here. Thank you. What? Hello? Thank you. No! What? I didn't even hit him once? What in the world? Dang, that sucks. All right, what are we? 32 and 12, we're actually doing pretty good. We're winning too. Oh, you can see my aim getting pulled downwards. That's the aim assist rework. Hey, there's definitely a guy here. <laughs> oh, God damn it. This gun, definitely, the range is definitely uh, hit or miss. I mean, with five, range is pretty bad. I think you can mod the range. I'm not too sure. Hey. I know there's another guy. What? Thank you. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That. <laughs> I wanted to switch my pistol and I couldn't. God dang it. My guy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, come back here. Oh, dang it. Is there a guy coming? There is someone there. All right. <laughs> I knew there was a guy there, so I turned around just to kill him. Because I knew I'm not going to go with this guy from range. So I'm, you know what? I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go for this guy in the corner. <laughs> there's definitely people on the edge right there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to... Oh, there's a guy here. What? Thank you. I hear people. Someone here? Who's shooting me? Oh, there's a guy over there. I'm all right. See ya, guys. No way. No, I mean, there's definitely no way. I should have aimed for the head, but it's all right. 45 and 16. Dang. I think there's gonna be a guy here. I feel so bad for you, bro. What am I? What is going on? I can't pick that guy. Team, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you. I think hip fire is the what? 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 He's full ping. What am I? I'm full ping too. How am I not hitting him? That's so what? So bullshit.
Anyways, I think the strategy here with the Amos's rework is to hip fire. So try to mod your hip fire. That's what you want to do. Oh god. I feel bad for this guy. Wow. Hey man. No. 49 18. Pretty good. I think you should get it. I think the potential for this weapon is good, especially with mods. So I'm gonna go and try getting it permanent. But I think you should mod the hip fire and the range. Those two are the most important elements because I think with the Amos's rework, as you guys saw, there were multiple instances where I was getting my aim pulled down to avoid the headshot. Um, so I think hip fire is the way to go and you need range because it only has five range. So we're going to go ahead and get buy boxes until we get it permanent. So we'll see. All right, let's see. It'll be crazy if we get a goad. Three hours. All right. As you can see, we have a, a ton of credits, so we can go through this. But it would be lucky. It would be great if we get it. And just like that, we got. It. We already got it. Okay. Let's see what kind of mods we get. Twitch speed that one percent. What kind of mod is that? That's such a waste. What? ADS. Whatever. Spread tightness. That might be helpful for hip fire. Twenty-two damage. Ten press. Ten percent spread tightness. Minus thirty-five. Rate of fire minus two extra pellets. That's pretty bad. One rate of fire, spread tightness, reload speed, damage, range, extra pellets. So range, but minus 2.5 spread tightness. And then upgrade this multiple times. All right, wait. So let's just buy our mods right now. <laughs> let's just do it. All right. As you can see, we have our mods. So we're going to... Uh, spread tightness and solve that. Oh my god. Boom. And then we're gonna range install that. And then what is this? Rate of fire? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> but we're gonna upgrade this. Boom. Uh, cancel. Okay, so we have minus 2.5 spread tightness. So that's minus 3.5 right plus four percent so we're getting an extra 0.5 percent spread tightness so what we can actually do is upgrade this we can upgrade this one more time actually um and then we'll that will increase our spread tightness which i'm gonna do boom okay so this is this is it <laughs> this is our mods plus six percent spread tightness plus 0.3 range plus one percent rate of fire so six and three and a half so we're technically getting only 2.5 percent spread tightness but i think that's a good combo with our range and rate of fire as you can see i mean our range isn't that great actually i just realized but uh i think this is i think this is pretty good maybe in a different game we'll, we'll in a different video we'll see what we get but yeah in the meantime uh, that would be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.